Hey, what's going on all my broskies? How are you guys all doing? My name is the Bro Man. Welcome back to another episode of the Dortmund Manager Mode Let's Play series thingamajiggy. And in the start of this episode, you're going to see that I'm actually looking at strikers because that is something that I really needed. And a lot of you guys know that. I mean, Immobile is doing a really good job. But I mean, it would be great if Royce could have a really, really solid person to play up there. Or maybe even just a strike partner for Immobile and we could drop Royce to the left wing. So you see, I'm also looking at Origi. He's a up-and-coming... Uh, Belgium star he's looking really good he already has extremely high pace which is always nice it's always really nice you know but unfortunately we could not get uh, Remy here because he's too important to the club QPR would not let him go so fortunately we can't get our hands on Remy there so I just kept on looking I was like hey maybe Daniel Sturridge could be an option you know, maybe Liverpool will be nice enough to let us get him for, you know, a recent, uh, decently, you know, cheap amount. But uh, as you guys will see, that's not the case. And I also remembered that Lukaku is a very solid striker as well. And uh, I decided, hey, why not inquire about him, see what we can do. And we got a couple of emails back here. We got a transfer offer for Boateng. And <clears throat> it's from Man City. I am not giving Man City any players, no matter how much they offer me. They're not getting Boateng ever and then uh 65 million for Sturridge was just not doing it so Lukaku for 50 I was just looking through my club here I offered as much as I could 25.5 million I was trying to find a player you know who I could give up they're not really playing so I offer uh Mick Terry in here who's clearly in bad form and even said he's not been doing very well for the team so I offer him and a solid 27 and a half million for Lukaku and we get the acceptance from Everton meaning Lukaku has uh, we actually you know the manager of this team was like hey yeah that's a pretty good deal you know not bad so we offer Lukaku a little bit less than what he wants on his uh, on what he's asking for but we give him a five percent bonus and he accepts the offer meaning we now have Romelu Lukaku as a striker on this team and we can play him up alongside Immobile and I decided I should change up my formation here but as you guys can see it looking a little bit wacko like that's a it's a unique formation so yeah, I give it a go here in this upcoming game. You'll see Lukaku and Immobile is the two strikers with Aubameyang, Royce on the left and right wings. And then in the center mids, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I end up going with like Shaheen and you know, like I keep changing this lineup. I just wanted to show you guys basically here that, you know, I changed, I'm trying out this new formation. I'm putting on some of the regulars again just to get, you know, some more playing time in them. And uh, yeah, that's basically what I do here. And, um, you know, this team's doing very well, well, blah, 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 I can't even speak, this team's doing very well for me, and we come here against Leverkusen, who is second place in the league, we are in third or fourth at this point, and we immediately start off with a nice little through ball to Immobile, Immobile takes a shot, hits the post, but gets tripped up, and as you guys can see, he does not get up, he stays down on the ground, which is not ever good, and he's rolling around in pain. And I go hover over him there, and I see broken ankle, and I just know right then and there that I'm not going to be seeing too much of uh, Mobile. And uh, I was I was happy, actually, uh, that I didn't get rid of Ramos, because I was considering trying to trade him for Lukaku. But if I would have got rid of him, I wouldn't have a backup striker to put in there. So, right away, Lukaku is making an impact. Right away, Lukaku scores a header. Nice little cross from Aubameyang, I'm pretty sure that was, and Lukaku jumps on it. Heads it right into the bottom corner. Keeper had absolutely no chance saving that. Great header by Lukaku. But this game went absolutely insane. <laughs> I was getting completely dominated. Here's just the first chance they got. But they don't stop there. These guys absolutely pooped on my face. They, I don't even know how that got saved. Like, honestly, that was such a perfect free kick. But they just kept on pushing and pushing, and I did not know how to defend them. I, would tr I tried everything I could to defend these guys, and they just would not stop attacking. Look at this. Nice little cross there. He's offside, and he scores. If he wasn't offside there, that would have been a tie game. And we go into halftime, winning 1-0. And I was, I was very happy that we were still in the lead. But I was really worried about the second half, because if you guys actually see here by the stats... They weren't dominating too much possession-wise. They had, you know, 10% more possession. But you just see they're firing shots constantly. And Courtois is just having an absolutely amazing game. And this part gets a little bit unfortunate. They put in the corner kick. Courtois jumps out, punches it. I don't know how this penalty was given. Another stupid penalty like this. I literally don't hit any buttons. You see that? I'm not hitting a button. I want to see the replay what happened. No replay again. Kiesling steps up for Bayern Leverkusen. Courtois and Ned warming up there. Kiesling does a little fake. 
shoots it right at Courtois, makes a nice little catching save there. And we decide, hey, let's counterattack while they're all up the field. So, fortunately, it got stopped there, but that's not stopping Schmelzer from making a push. And we play a nice little through ball here to Ramos, who runs in, does a nice little cut inside, cuts into the box, shoots, but their keeper makes a nice save. Then they keep on coming. These guys are not giving up. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't give up either. I mean, I don't blame them for continuously trying, but... Luckily there, he just skies it over the net, misses. Another attack, nice little ball in. Courtois runs out, almost goes in, just creeps over the bar. And if you think we weren't getting any chances, Kagawa rockets it way out of the box, but hits the post, unfortunately. No goal there. And right here, they put in one last attack. Header saved by Courtois. And Courtois gladly rolls that out to the side for this game to end. We hang on. 1-0, the final score, Lukaku with the lone goal of that game. So, awesome win for us. We beat the team who's, you know, ahead of us in the standing. So, that uh, carries us forward a little bit. And here you see I just start making some changes because Immobile is injured. So, I just go back to the original formation I was using, you know, with Royce Nobamiang left and right forwards. And I just replaced Immobile with uh, Lukaku, of course. So, now we go into this game against Augsburg. And I decided to simulate it, obviously, because, you know, Augsburg isn't really a solid team that's, you know, posing a threat to us or anything. So I decided it would be a good idea to simulate this match. It also saves me a lot of editing time because I just show this part instead of having to literally rewatch pretty much the whole game and find the key moments of the game and stuff. So, as you can see, halftime comes along and we're still 0-0 and, you know, I was like, oh my god, hopefully we don't lose or anything. Because, you know, it's always bad to lose to a bottom of the table kind of team. And in the 80th minute, I start, you know, you know, getting a little bit worried, and it ends up tying the game. We end up tying, which isn't always great. But then I decided, you know, I have faith in my team. Let's simulate again. Right away, Lukaku comes through, scores a goal. And, you know, I was like, okay, now we just got to hold on to this for the rest of the game. And it doesn't just stop there either, because, you know, when I simulate these games, my team likes to screw up and score. So as you can see there, Boateng gets a red card in the 41st minute, and then right away we get scored on after that, and we also scored another goal with Lukaku. So Lukaku's playing absolutely amazing for the team, and it was a great signing for us, and yeah, we win another game there, so we are still pushing forward in the standing, still getting a lot of good points here, and yeah, Boateng got that red card, so we can't play in this next game, so Ginter's going to have to get in there and cover his spot. Now the next game here was against Mainz, and I decided, hey, I'm going to try a new player in this game. I'm going to try someone. Instead of Aubameyang, I decided to put Jonas or Jonas Hoffman here on the right wing. And if you guys were thinking the title was about Lukaku, you were completely wrong. This guy, Jonas or Jonas Hoffman, I think it's Jonas. I'm not exactly sure. I'm just going to say Jonas because that's just how I've been saying it ever since I you know saw his name. He has been... In this game, you'll see just how amazing he does for the team. He he's basically like a Royce, but just not as high rated and stuff. You'll see you'll see examples of what he can do here. Here's a little ball into him, and he's just a quick little dude. And I'm just I'm just letting you guys know that there's a reason why this player is super cool to me. There's a reason why I really like this guy. Here you see he draws the penalty. Um, so I want you guys to guess in the comments down below why I like this guy so much. You know. It's not just because of this game, there's actually a real life kind of thing about this guy that uh, that's pretty cool. So guess in the comments down below and I'll let you guys know in the next video if any of you guys got it right or anything. But yeah, I let him take the penalty there, he scores, and yeah, so Jonas Hoffman does not stop there. He is going to keep on going. He just Look at him, look at this guy cutting back and forth, out sprinting everyone on the field. He's not really that fast, but it seems like he's faster than, you know, EA said. Crosses it in, you know, Royce just doesn't get the proper header on that, I don't blame him. It's Marco Royce, he's not known for heading, he's known for being beasted, everything else. But there's the halftime, whistle, 1-0 up against Mainz, not a bad half. And now we go into the second half with that lead. So they get a little bit unlucky here because, oh wait, no, it wasn't them who get a little bit unlucky. Actually, I think it is. Wait, I can't remember this clip. No, no one got unlucky there. It was just they missed the net. I was thinking that was something else. But uh, anyways, here we end up getting a little free kick opportunity near the box. And you know who's going to step up for these. It's obviously got to be Royce, the guy with amazing free kick stats. Takes the free kick. Perfect bottom corner shot. And the keeper just beats the ball to the net there. The keeper makes a nice little save. And he ends up conceding the corner though. 
And from this corner kick, we do a nice little cross. Remember where Aubameyang used to be? Hoffman is now there, and he heads it right into the net. And that is his second goal of the game. Hoffman, the youngster, coming through. Big time star coming. I'm going to start playing this guy more. I mean, he definitely proved himself in this game. And uh, he feels, you know, Aubameyang and him are pretty much the same kind of player. But, I mean, I, you know, he's a younger guy. He has time to develop. And look at that header they scored on me. This guy I've never even heard of in my life. They play a nice little cross in here. I have no, I don't know who this guy is. Amazing accuracy on that header. You know, I'm not complaining about that. Send a nice little through ball from Hoffman to Lukaku, trying to get that goal, but uh, keeper comes up big, stops us, and we don't end up scoring there. And they keep on pressing, you know, they're not giving up. Nobody's giving up. Everyone wants to win. So here they are attacking. They keep on coming at me. Dude, it's a nice little spin. I got absolutely beat there, but luckily for me, he misses the net. And that is how the game ends. So we came out with another victory, guys. Hoffman getting two goals for the team, one of them being a penalty, obviously, but he did earn that penalty, so I feel like it's okay that he got the two goals or whatever. And here you just see me doing some more editing to the team, so that's basically going to be it for this episode, guys. There's not really any time left. You'll just see here I'm making a little bit of changes to the team, putting on some new players, you know, giving everyone some playing time, because you got to do that as a manager. you got to keep your players happy, otherwise you're going to ask to leave the club. And uh, yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have played manager mode yet, but if you haven't, give it a try. And I also want to know if you guys want to see a My Player series, like if I made my own Be A Pro, if you guys would want me to do one, because I'm not going to be doing 15 years until it forces me to retire of this series. I'll probably do a couple seasons. And that's why you don't see me scouting youth, because I don't see a point, because I'm not really going to be developing any youth players. So guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Let me know if you want to see a Be A Pro player, like series and here you guys can see in the standings we're in second place we're coming back so thank you guys for watching see you guys in my next video peace out